Welcome to Airbus. Welcome to the Airbus podcast, We Make It Fly. In this series, we are focusing on all that matters in space, defense and security. My name is Mareike Zuppa. I am part of the product marketing team for Space Systems. And today I'm speaking to Christian Steimle, the Bartolomeo Business and Service Manager at Airbus Space Systems in Bremen. Christian will tell us all about the latest addition to the International Space Station, ISS as we call it, and how it can be a very easy and straightforward way of getting a payload into orbit. Christian, thank you for joining me today. Oh, it is my pleasure, Mareike. Thank you very much for this great opportunity to share our excitement about the all-new Bartolomeo platform and service with you. Christian is part of the team that thought up the concept of the Bartolomeo platform and has accompanied its entire process from first sketches to the actual installation on the ISS. Christian, recently you and your colleagues had your fingers crossed and your eyes glued to the screen as a robotic operation was ongoing 400 kilometers above us on the International Space Station. Why? Yes, indeed. That was all exciting for us. Bartolomeo is a platform that had to be installed on the International Space Station, fully relying on the robotic system that is available on the space station. That was very complex for us. That was technically very, very difficult to develop. And seeing on orbit that this robotic operation to install our space platform was successful was all exciting and very rewarding for us and the team. And there is one final step coming up in a couple of weeks' time before the platform will actually be fully operational and ready to host payloads. Yes, um, the extravehicular activity, how it is called, is a very costly and time-consuming operations for the ISS crew. And that was, by the way, also the reason why we have defined or designed Bartolomeo as a platform for robotic installation to save time for the astronauts on board. But the one thing we could not design for robotic operation was to install a cable that is required to connect finally Bartolomeo and its payloads to Columbus and to provide power and, uh, and data link to the station. That has to be done uh, by an astronaut crew and that is planned for mid October this year and we are very much looking forward to this final step of installation. And when that's done and everything's connected, we can say that uh, another exciting space project has successfully been implemented by Airbus? Almost, almost, Mareike, because the very, very last step is testing out our hardware in space. That is what we call the commissioning, where we perform final on-orbit tests to make sure that the system works properly and is ready for operations of payloads. That is planned to be done in November or December timeframe this year, so that by the end of this year, we're fully ready to uh, operate the first payloads on our Bartolomeo platform. Okay, and then if we want to picture Bartolomeo, uh, we can imagine a platform that is attached to the outside of the European Columbus module, which sits at the very, very front of the space station in flight direction. Yes, Bartolomeo is, if you will, in the premium position of the International Space Station. It is a space platform that is installed at the very, very front, which gives a perfect view to the Earth and to space. You can imagine that on the International Space Station, being a very, very complex space system, there is always something in your view a solar array, another object that is installed on, on the space station or a visiting vehicle that is just supplying goods to the space station. On Bartolomeo, we have a perfect view and this is one of our key selling points for hosting a payload on that platform. Okay, and then I understand that the platform is equipped with what you call payload adapters through which your customers' payloads are connected to the platform and also all the necessary infrastructure such as power and data and then And, uh, the payloads get launched with the regular servicing flights to the International Space Station and then are installed again like the platform itself by the robotic arm, which all sounds very complicated. But I understand there's good news, Christian, because Airbus offers the Bartolomeo service as an all-in-one space mission service. Can you explain what that means exactly? The very idea behind Bartolomeo is to 
provide easy and simple access for everyone to low Earth orbit. That is done in our, as you said, all-in-one space mission service that covers all necessary elements to operate a payload in space. We provide integration, analytical integration of the payload into the ISS. We provide the launch of the payload included in the service. We provide the installation of the payload on our Bartolomeo platform within our service. And also we provide support to operate the payload on board our Bartolomeo platform. This is all prepared and brought by you by this all-in-one space mission service, which makes it very easy and straightforward for you to use space and to develop your space mission. Easy and straightforward is all very well, but I would assume it's also very expensive. Your customer organizations must bring along significant funding, I would expect. Not at all, Mareike. Providing access for everybody means that also the mission needs to be very much cost efficient. So Bartolomeo is designed to provide the cheapest and easiest access to space that you can imagine. We provide a one-year mission already for 300,000 euros or a small payload like the size of a shoebox, a 3U CubeSat. And we provide the mission for a larger payloads like the size of, if you will, a washing machine for 3.5 million euros per year. Larger sizes are available and the payload can be as heavy as 450 kilograms. That is pretty unique. And keeping in mind that Bartolomeo also provides the launch of the payload, this is really the cheapest way of accessing and using space. Okay, and when you talk about shoeboxes and washing machines, I suppose that's not really what your customers would be sending to the space station. Can you give us a bit of an idea of what a typical payload would be, what these things look like, what type of things the customers send? We at Bartolomeo, we always say you can do literally anything. Of course, we have to keep in mind that on the International Space Station, there is also a crew on board whose uh, safety has to be respected. So uh, you can do literally everything that is safe and respects the uh, safety requirements of the International Space Station. But those are very straightforward and we at Airbus, we are experts in those um, safety precautions and safety certifications with um, the European Space Agency and NASA. You can be very creative. What we see a lot is a demand for the demonstration of technology, which is very practical on Bartolomeo because you can even even uh, as an extra service, receive your payload back for a post-flight inspection. What we also see is great interest in Earth remote sensing. That can be done for commercial purposes as well as scientific purposes. And also other use cases like just exposing material to space and bringing it back to Earth for inspection. That is also possible. But uh, the sky is the limit and uh, only your imagination can tell us more uh, about what can be done in the future. It's practically unlimited. That sounds really cool. You and your team have spent a lot of time and effort on Bartolomeo in the last couple of years and uh, I'm sure you must have a bit of a personal highlight of this project. Oh, there were so many highlights, I must say. It was a great pleasure and privilege to work with such professional and great uh, technical teams both in Bremen, Germany and Houston, Texas and also with our partners at the European Space Agency and NASA in Houston. This was very, very rewarding for me. Also that international and commercial uh, cooperation with our suppliers. In all that, the greatest, really greatest um, moment for me was to see our Bartolomeo platform being launched on board the SpaceX Dragon uh, vehicle. Uh, that was earlier this year. And once the second stage separated uh, from the capsule, there was a video footage coming uh, back to us viewing the launch, which showed our Bartolomeo platform inside the Dragon vehicle flying to the International Space Station. To see that was worth all the effort to go through this uh, development. All right. And then uh, all in all, it sounds as if things couldn't get much easier than flying on Bartolomeo if you wanted to get a payload into low Earth orbit. So here's a last question. In case any of our listeners have a good idea in mind of what they would like to do, do you still have slots available? Yes, Bartolomeo is designed to provide a broad capacity uh, of hosting payloads in space. We have up to 12 payload sites to offer and some of those are of course uh, started to be utilized uh, by our first customers. There's always a slot available 
available on Bartolomeo at some time. And please come to us. We're excited to start developing your mission together with you, supporting you in your mission idea. And we will bring you as quickly as possible to our Bartolomeo platform. It is always available and open uh, for utilization right now. That sounds great. And I may actually have something in mind, so I'll give you a call on that. Thank you very much for your time, Christian. It was great chatting with you and uh, to get some insight on the Bartolomeo program. And uh, I can wish you all the best for a successful Bartolomeo service in the months and years to come. Great pleasure. Thank you very much, Mareike. That concludes this edition of We Make It Fly. If you have enjoyed this episode, don't forget to subscribe and rate us wherever you get your podcast. You can follow us on all social media and use the hashtag WeMakeItFly to get in touch. We would appreciate your feedback. Thanks for listening.